Tip 1. For winter activities, it's a good idea to use some kind of tarp, or in this case, a picnic blanket, near the car for the kiddos to put all their gear on and off. This helps keep snow and dirt out of the car, most of the time. Tip 2. Make sure you tuck your pants into your socks so that when you put your boots on and play out in the snow, the snow won't get inside your boots and keep the little feet warmer. Tip 3. It's a good idea also to tuck in their shirt into their pants. Kind of make it feel like a onesie. It keeps them a lot warmer and keeps the snow out. Tip four, most important, when you're outside doing any kind of activities, just be patient with your kids. Enjoy the time that you have together and just learn from each other. The best things you can teach your kids is to have imagination and enjoy yourselves as a family. So just have fun. You'll love it. So snowshoes are letting you float on the snow compared to me sinking in the snow. Tip with kids, make sure you bring lots of water and a good positive attitude and bribe them a lot because you probably won't get very far. But that's okay because we're just experimenting with snowshoes. We're not that far from the car at all. We are just seeing how they are with these boots on. And it's very tiring, but something to do and we're just enjoying it. halfway there. No biggie. This is what we do on a Saturday morning. Actually back here, this is the, we're up in Logan Canyon. Back in there, that's Tony Grove. And obviously it's closed unless you have a snowmobile or snowshoes and you want to walk the 10 miles in, go for it. We're not doing that. We're just going to walk to this tree and have a snack and probably walk back to the car. Okay, I'm coming. Yes, I want to see it. I love it. Nice. Snack time. Okay, so I'm going to walk up to this little ridge because it opens up, it looks like. And they're, oops, okay, he's going pee. <laughs> and they're gonna have a snack break. But I wanna see what it looks like if I walk up here, follow these little tracks. So that's where I'm going. So, I like to wander. It's pretty deep right here. Ah. And I'll get a better view of the boys down there. Those look like I don't know deer tracks. Probably not deer. I love the snow because you can see all the tracks. Okay. Let's see what's up here. And of course. My trusty companion. Come on, Riley. Let's go up here. <sighs> I want to make it to that. That way. Pretty big, uh. Beautiful. Uh, maybe they're. Looks like toes. Maybe there's snowshoes. 
know. Wouldn't be definitely from an animal because my tracks versus those tracks. Yeah. Let's go see what made these tracks. <sighs> Isn't that weird? Not that close together. And well, I don't know. Huh. I don't know. Piece of tree. Who's up, Bobby? Hey, Ryan. Now I'm just making my way back down to the snack tree. It's almost like skiing. I'm getting kind of slippery. She's having fun. All right, one more little overlook of this little this little hill that I'm on. We'll do a little swing out. Again, we are, I don't know if I mentioned, but we are by Tony Grove up Logan Canyon. I think the road is that, and it kind of swings over this hill up in there. Let's go see what the boys are doing. Sliding down this sucker. <laughs> Whoa, time out. Okay, after your snack. Walking back to the car. You will get frustrated with kids. I guarantee it. But it's okay. You'll enjoy it. They gotta figure out their own path. <laughs> You're gonna fall. <laughs> Oh goodness. Alright y'all, we are headed back to the car. After a snack and little water, we're going to make our way back. You will get frustrated, I promise you. There will be tears and fights and everything in between. But you got to let them find their own path. They got to know what challenges they can do and you just encourage them to do better. And that's how we wander. Dig your feet in the snow. Now stand up. You're okay, stand up. I need to see you do it. <laughs> now turn around slowly. Good job. Like I said, they gotta do it themselves. I can't be there to always hold their hand. Hurt my arm for you. <laughs> Riley's having a little R and R with the snow. Okay, so somehow we're up on this ledge, and our car is down there. That's the road, and there's like a parking lot and our car's over there. How we got up here, not sure. So, we're gonna apparently walk this way to find a softer path to go down. Okay, downward. guys and dad, big guys, and mom. Back. Cause that's where mom always is. Alright, 
Let's look at tacos. So you get a perspective. I'm up to my knees in snow. The boys are up to their waist in snow without snowshoes. So you really sink in here. Okay guys, we are Trailhead Adventures. It's gonna be a really short video of us enjoying the snowshoeing time and exploring. So I'll give you some tips and tricks. I don't know if I have tricks, but I'll give you some tips about snowshoeing with kids. So until next time, stay tuned. I'm gonna come up with a video because we are going camping after Christmas and it's supposed to snow. Hopefully not this much, but we shall see. So stay tuned for that video and see you on the trail. Never ever stop wandering. See you later.